Good morning, everybody. I am Professor Dr. Beatriz Lucia Salvador Bisotto from Brazil. And I would like to say that it, uh, it's a great pleasure to be here today. I would like to thank uh, ICMIT and especially Dr. Ampud Harikrishnan for the invitation to speak in this, in this lecture. Uh, this lecture has the title Digital Transformation for Reinventing Competitive Advantage impact and future scenario. I will start my lecture and I will talk, uh, start talking about more entrepreneurs keep in the business world. All right, here we have uh, the flyers of this conference. Entrepreneurship and innovation. Undertaking in the current scenario is a great challenge for those who want to their own business. Since we are in an increasingly competitive market, to achieve success in entrepreneurship, the business must present something innovative. That is, that is dif differentities in from what is already offered, meeting with quality, a demand from society. Entrepreneurship refers to having initiative, being a leader and being able to make discoveries in order to solve problems or guarantee the improvement of making that already exists. A current example of entrepreneurship is, is startups in which entrepreneurs observe recurring problems in the daily lives of people in society and find ways to solve them. Therefore, it guarantees a business that is updated over time, remaining competitive in the market, while the innovation. Innovation consists of creating something that has functionally, that is different from what already exists and that can serve the market. In this way, uh, technology is a great alley to innovate, such as through trends uh, such as automation, cloud computing, among others. However, in addition to investments in order to successfully innovate, the three points de deserve to be highlighted, namely, meet the interests of consumers, awaken creativity, Listen to the team that does the business. The relationship between the concept of innovation and entrepreneurship is entrepreneurship and innovative are directly related and for a business to be successful, they must go hand in hand in creating and taking care of its performance. Innovation helps entrepreneurship create. Uh, to undertake successfully is inevitably to have innovation. However, the company that keeps its solution fixed in the time cannot sustain it itself in the long term, let alone grow. The world in which consumers live is subject to rapid changes that require faster and better solutions to meet the demands that arise. And companies must be aware of this. You should also invest in strategies that make you know the business, such as through market research with a view to knowing and mastering who your audience is in what environment you are in. In Brazil, we have the following entrepreneurial situation. Number of entrepreneurs is growing in the country Three out of 10 Brazilian adults between the ages of 18 and 64 own a company or are involved in setting up their own business. In 10 years, this entrepreneurship rate jumped from 23% to 34%. Of this total, half correspond to, a new, to new entrepreneurs. With less than three and a half years of activity, and the other half to owners of business established for a longer time. The data are from the new Global Entrepreneurship Monitor, GEM survey, carried out in Brazil by Sebrae 
and the Brazilian Institute of Quality and Productivity, the IBQP. Brazil is at the top of the world ranking of uh, entrepreneurship. Here we have uh, a chart showing Brazil compared to countries that make up the BRICS. Entrepreneurship rate. In 10 years, it went from 23 to 34.5%. Of this total, half corresponds to new entrepreneurs. Three out of 10 Brazilian adults between the ages of 18 and 64 own a business. The survey also reveals that for every 100 Brazilians who start their own business in Brazil, 71 are motivated by a business opportunity. The current entrepreneur opens a company because he or she sees an opportunity and invests in that idea. A good idea is just the beginning. You need to know how to adapt to the circumstances that present themselves. Embrace new opportunities within your business spectrum. Look beyond the obvious and bet on daring to always remain competitive. Some are the reasons to undertake. While 31% of Brazilians want to start a business, 16% want to grow within a company. Reasons to be an entrepreneur. The first one is to travel around Brazil, 63%. The second is having your own business with 59%. The third is buying a home with 54%. And how much to travel abroad, 54%. To encourage uh, entrepreneurship in Brazil, uh, it has some government incentives. The strengths, the dynamics of the Brazilian market generates opportunities, commercial and professional infrastructure. Then we have the limiting point that is bureaucracy, education and training, and the financial support. Recommendations, reduce bureaucracy, expand entrepreneurship education, greater financial support in the early stages of the business. To encourage entrepreneurship in Brazil, it is necessary to work hard on the limiting points. Now I have a question to make here. Do you think women are entrepreneurs? Empowerment. The word female empowerment has been in popular vocabulary for a few years, largely because of debates on gender equality. The word female empowerment has been popular, as I said before. The term is defined as the act or effect of promoting awareness and the taking of influence power of a person or a group in order to drive social, cultural, political, and economic changes. In this way, it stands out as an important instrument when it comes to claiming rights and recognition on the part of women. Want to know how to collaborate with this change? Six attitudes can help you promote empowerment in everyday life. The first one is have more empathy. Have more empathy, the ability to put yourself in another person's shoes is in certain circumstances, also known as empathy, is a valuable path in combating female revelry. This exercise helps to not express a negative look towards women as a whole, avoiding unfair judgments and extolling compassion. Don't take advantage of other people's insecurity. Do you know what an abusive relationship is? This type of relationship is built on manipulation, blackmail, and psychological or physical abuse. And anyone who think it, is only happen it only happens between couples is completely wrong. It can also happen between friends. The fact is that taking advantage of someone's fragility 
to hit them or benefit is not cool. So try to respect other women's insecurities and offer help whenever possible. Work with women. Despite being the majority of the population, women have not yet reached the same proportion as men in corporate environments, especially in leadership positions, to reduce inequalities and also fight the myth that women are rivals at work too, work to ensure that teams are increasingly balanced and diverse, diverse, especially because successful women become examples for others who are yet to come. Share the work of other women. For more female names to stand out in areas where they are still a minority, Support is essential. Prestige, for example, artistic work signed by them, read, listen to, and watch women, and nominate colleagues for different works. This contributes to the promotion of representation and encourages girls to follow paths that they have always been discouraged from taking. Intervene when necessary. The rates of violence against women are still high, and in many moments, those who go through, uh, it doesn't see a way out. The reasons are diverse. They range from emotional to financial dependence. Therefore, there are times when, for the sake of an acquaintance, friend or family member, it is necessary to intervene. Offer help, report when necessary, and always be present. Respect the differences. Some may take years. Others may never understand your point of view. Doing your part also means respecting each one's differences and timing. This, however, does not prevent him or her from drawing attention to prejudiced and toxic attitudes when she deems it's necessary. I present a research in the power of women in entrepreneurship in Brazil. Female interest in industrial occupation grows. About 350,000 chose to undertake in the industry. More than 3.2 million women in Brazil are entrepreneurs. This is the IBGE uh, 2021 data. Of this total, 30% have a business with at least one hired employee and the rest are self-employed. With each passing year, women conquer new roles in society and walk towards protagonism in various markets. And entrepreneurship is not different. Today, Brazil is the seventh, with more than 30.2 million women in Brazil are entrepreneurs. Of this total, 30% have a business with at least one hired employee and the rest are self-employed. About 350,000 chose to undertake in the industry. The data are from the Continuous National Household Sample Survey of the second quarter of 2021 from the IBGE country with the highest number of women entrepreneurs. The problem, female participation. There is still a long way to go for women to realize their potential female growth in the industry. It grew 52% uh, in, percent in the same period. Men in the industry, it was only 3%. Business demography, increasing female participation. Participation grew from 32% in 2010 to 38% in 2019. The same survey organized by GEM based on 2018 data revealed that women entrepreneurs study 16% uh, more than men, while they dedicate on average 8.5 years to training 
they invest 9.9 .9 years of their lives. On the other hand, they earn less. The average monthly income of female entrepreneurs is 22% lower. There are many reasons that help explain these numbers. While in the corporate world, prejudice is seen as one of the major motivators of the salary gap for female entrepreneurs, lower income may be related to the impossibility of full dedication to the business. It's just that many of them need to work hard to manage the company's activities, care for the house and children. Also, according to the GEM, while men dedicate on average 37.5 hours to the business, women work 30.8 hours. The data show that uh, be better reconciling the workday with household chores is one of the great challenges for women entrepreneurs to achieve better results in their own business. Problem, research data. Women entrepreneurs study 16% more than men. While they dedicate on average 8.5 years training, uh, they invest 9.9 .9 years of their lives. They earn less. The average monthly income of female entrepreneurs is 22% lower. Uh, there are many reasons that help to explain the, this, as I, I said before. And uh, the data show that better reconciling the workday with household chores is one of the great challenges for women, of course. According to the survey, female participation in the total number of entrepreneurs is still a minority and represents 37% of the total number of formal entrepreneurs in the country. Uh, the data based on a survey that heard more than 13,000 companies from more than 70 countries. According to this study, institutions that are now led by women have seen increased profits, easier to attract and retain talent, improved creativity and innovation, and progress in terms of companies' reputation. Women in technology increasing. In search of women in vocational education and labor market, gender balance is fundamental to the evolution of organizations. A heterogeneous teams, a team, sorry, presents different ideas and visions for projects and actions, which impacts on better rates of innovation and competitiveness. The IG, IBGE uh, 2001 data, <coughs> sorry, field of technology, the predominance of male labor is historic. And in the last 10 years, there has been little change. On the other hand, it, it clarifies that the most innovative companies in the digital universe invest in the diversity of their team. Man can put the, uh, himself in the place of the user and act better in this environment. An empathetic look in a market of wide competition is certainly differential. We know that men and women complement each other widely. Men with rational reasoning and women with emotional, uh, that is uh, why both complete each other. Equity is the quality that characterizes the fact of giving each individual what he or she deserves. In this sense, it is synonymous with nuances of equality, equity, is the action of giving each individual, however different, what he or she deserves or has achieved. 10 technical courses with the highest growth in female participation since 2017. Here we have the names, uh, system development, heavy machinery maintenance, aircraft and avionics maintenance, furniture, Interior design graphic, pre-print metallurgy, quality internet computing, civil construction drawing. I will talk a little bit more about. 
And uh, what will be the professions of the future? Do you know? Let's see uh, who hits at least one. 10 professions of the future, jobs on the rise for 2022. What are the professions of the future that are, are already trending in 2002? So can the home office uh, work model be considered one of the professions of the future 2002, 2022? Uh, home office with the pandemic, companies discovered that uh, many functions do not need to be performed in person. Because of this, the market was forced to use the home office work model in functions that can be performed remotely. Marketing, finance, administrative professionals, and many others now deal with demands mediated by management applications hold meetings via Zoom or another video conferencing tools and answer questions via WhatsApp or another instant messenger. So the home office work model can be considered one of the professions of the future uh, 2022. First, on the list of professions of the future could be the profession you already have. The point is that uh, the pandemic forced many people to migrate to the home office. And the trend is that even after the pandemic, many professionals continue to work remotely. What was once seen a luxury for uh, employees and the loss of productivity for the company today shows up to save resources and optimize time. The view is actually quite simple. Costs with physical spaces decrease, while workers save energy by not wasting hours in traffic. And it doesn't matter what activity you perform. If you work from home, you can already consider that your work is one of the professions of the future. But it is worth remembering that being socially isolated due to the pandemic is not an ideal scenario for a home office. Anyway, the fact is that companies need to adapt to new ways of working and not pretend that we are in the old reality. This means that hiring, dismissals, and the reformulation of the working arrangements will be necessary. If you are a manager, get out of the deni denial period and abandon micromanagement for good. If this way of letting didn't work before, with the home office, it made even less sense. Professions of the future, mental health. Uh, the World uh, Health Organization warned that the impact of the pandemic on the mental health of the world's population is extremely worrying. There is also another study carried out which reveals that the rates of stress, anxiety, and depression in Brazil were already high, but doubled. There are countless worries that we acquire in just a few months. The fear of contagion, ours, and that of loved ones, the worry about the job and the bills at the end of the month, the strangeness and need to adapt to an entirely new scenario. Because of these, and other factors, the demand for psychologists, psychiatrists, and entrepreneurs who bring these services to the population tends to increase. These professions, like countless others, are experiencing an urgent need for adaptation and innovation, which is why they cannot be ruled out as professions of the future. It is true that many people have already adapted to online services but there is still a lack of means to make knowledge on the subject and accessibility to services available to the majority of the population. So if you work or study to work in, in the area, no, your 2019 profession may no longer exist, but 2022 is part of the high professions. In the corporate world, what many entrepreneurs uh, still don't understand is that caring for the health 
of the employees is not a luxury. That can be granted or just an individual problem. It is a necessity of all companies because emotionally stable people are much more productive and therefore profitable for organizations. Thus, the demand for organizational psychologists and individual psychological assistant increases. This is an investment, not an expense. Fact checking or verification. The trend is that 2022, the fact checking. Consolidate yourself as one of the great professions on the rise. This is truly a profession of the future. After all, until recently, the idea that a person could work exclusively to a certain diversity of information <coughs> would have been unthinkable. At a time when fake news dictates the courses of elections, wars, COVID, and where misinformation about it takes an increasing number of people to the hospital, journalism is increasingly investing in this new profession uh, of fact-checking specialists. The trend is that in 2022, the fact-checking will strengthen and consolidate itself as one of the great professions on the rise, not least because the media must increasingly invest in qualified professionals to assess the truth. Cognitive diversity. Although some companies have not even started the debate on diversity and inclusion, the generation of millennials predominant in the market increasingly demands ethical and political positions from their favorite brands and companies. Cognitive diversity is a company's ability to foster employees who think uh, these different ways uh, of thinking are essential for debating problems and innovating solutions for customers. In a divided world, one of the roles played by companies is to reconcile divergent thoughts and translate them into improvements for society and the market. Entrepreneurs who know how to synthesize uh, cognitive diversity, in addition to joining the list of professions of the future, will be seen as different and already have a competitive advantage. Science and technology. The beginning of the pandemic brought the need for the rapid development of an effective vaccine to combat the virus. And laboratories around the world are working to develop, test, and produce a vaccine capable of immunizing the people. Investment in science and technology will ensure that problems that arise and tackled with speed and efficiency for example, biomedicine, which study microorganisms in the human biological system, will be one of the hardest professions. The trend is that this appreciation also occurs in other areas of science and technology. Artificial intelligence. This is on the list of trends for the coming years and professions of the future, and it will continue to be that way for a long time. AI already works in areas such as a customer service. Look at the Facebook chatbot, for example, social networks, search engines, autonomous cars, and even omnichannel because tools using AI are becoming more and more accessible. Chatbots, for example, are optimizing customer service and the sales process. AI also makes it easier to understand and predict user behavior, as well as select products to sell therefore. The trend is for a high conversation rate to be achieved by marketers who are trained in the area and are able to adapt to the new market created by these professions of the future. Other professions on the rise are those, who, those linked to the development of apps and software, 
as trained professionals will certainly be sought after by small, medium, and large companies that want to use artificial intelligence to optimize processes and make better use of their budget. E-commerce. It is no surprise that e-commerce is among the greater professions of the future. Even more so after the success of 2020, with the exponential growth of online shopping, the coronavirus, coronavirus crisis has caused many retailers to join or intensify their online sales. In addition, uh, the demand for online stores has increased due to social isolation. Uh, thus, many commercial establishments no longer return to face-to-face -face service activities. The main form of marketing for these companies consists of their presence on social networks. With this in mind, strategies and tools are intensifying to integrate virtual stores and social networks. The latest Instagram uh, update, for example, launched an exclusive tab for e-commerce. This makes it increasingly easier for entrepreneurs to reach, reach potential customers and earn money. The purchase is now within reach with just one click without the intermediation of a website. Short videos. The latest Instagram update also created an exclusive tab for Hills. Videos are of up to 30 seconds, which can be edited in the app itself. 2020, uh, 2020, sorry, was also the year in which the new social network, TikTok, established uh, themselves as a great channel for those who want to consume short, fast absorbing videos, whether funny or informative. The app became so popular that it even suffered an attempt to ban it in the United States. Instagram launched its own version, just as it had done with stories. A feature that ended up snapping uh, Snapchat's market share, uh, which has since lost support. The trend for 2022 is for short videos and video marketing campaigns to continue on the rise, with social networks increasingly adapted to the needs of e-commerce. There is plenty of room for entrepreneurs who knows how to use reels to create promotional, informative, and relaxed content. Service providers such as therapists and lawyers are also following the trend. It is now quite common to find 15, to, to find 15 second videos with relaxed dances and information that educate customers and interested people. Live broadcasts. At the beginning of the pandemic, with artists prevented from performing, the lives entered the routine of the general public. The broadcasts, which previously had only occasional, occasional viewers, became part of the week's agenda. The same has occurred in events of another nature. Lives are a way to deliver consistent content without anyone involved leaving home, saving resources for spectators and event organizers. And in some cases, generating much more positive results. A clear example is what we are doing today with this webinar. If your business hasn't done any live yet, try to understand how your audience behaves with this format and how it is possible to take advantage of this business opportunity that we will strengthening in 2022 and is already has seen as one of the professions of the future. The job market 2022. I really hope that this list of professionals of the professions of the future can be useful to you. It's also good to remember that the list of high-profile professions is just the beginning. 
because it's up to each uh, professor, professional to keep up to date uh, with market trends to train in increasingly competitive market with an employment on the rise and people looking to meet their basic needs. It is essential to look carefully and lovingly at your personal priorities and goals. We need to understand how to meet market demands without losing sight of the desire for a better and fairer society. Do you already work in any of these areas of hot professions? Or are you thinking about entering one in one of these markets with professions of the future? Tell me now. Social responsibility. And this strengthens specific actions by the private sector to correct social injustices. Just think about how much hate speech goes viral on social media and how it makes the world seem like an endless sea of rancor. In fact, uh, it is the positive uh, initiatives that should generate such repercussions, encouraging more people to act. Consumers are paying attention to this new scenario, taking into account sustainability and social commitment. And it is good that your business has this mind when planning for 2022, when we talk about social responsibility, we are talking about a number of professions on the rise and professions of the future, such as productions of sensitive content aligned with consumer demands, consulting for sustainable practices, communication and consumer relationship, communication analysis, specialized copywriters. Can we be entrepreneurs without thinking about the environment? Another, another worrying factor is sustainability, sustainability tripod. The three pillars of sustainability, uh, the sustainability tripod inaugurated a new way for companies to face the development of their businesses. The economic aspect should not be the only indicator of a company's performance and success. In fact, economic, social, and environmental factors, which were seen as incomp incompatible, are perfectly complementary and directly interconnected. Financial performance is uh, related to the sustainability of any business, people, planet, and profit, sustainable company profile, health cash flow, social aspects and, ecologi and, and ecological aspects. Adopting measures in favor of employees and the planet results in positive numbers at the end of the month. When the brand invests in the team and incorporates sustainable actions, it consequently improves productivity, competitiveness, and results. And finally, we have the signs of change. Uh, changes. Six signs stand out as essential for organizations to have a successful future. A recent research reveals the following. Learn from the future. Instead of looking to the past for insights, letting organizations use data analytics and artificial intelligence to make decisions and uh, define strategies that anticipate the future. With the global crisis, new possibilities arise. Organizations can reinvent their future by embracing positive changes. The number of job openings looking for workers with predictive skills grew twice as fast as jobs in general. 77% of executives surveyed have increased their internal and external use of real-time data in the last 12 months. Migrate, talk, migrate to the ends. Leaders are responding to change and challenges by shifting decision-making authority to people at the ends, relying on highly connected teams to act with speed and agility. 
88% of respondents said markets will become more segmented. 71% of respondents said they have already decentralized decision-making or are planning to do. Sustainable purpose. Responding to the demand that stakeholders be considered and served more broadly, organizations are building sustainability into the fabric of their operations and making social responsibility sustainable. Uh, 2.6 times as many companies with consistently high environmental, social, and governance ESG performance ratings out, outperform underperformers in terms of total shareholder return. 43% of uh, 521 of the world's largest companies are currently failing to deliver multidimensional value compared to the, their intentions. Borderless supply. To meet growing customer needs for a faster, more flexible and cost-effective and sustainable supply process, companies are restructuring their supply chains and moving production to the point of demand. 95% of respondents said they are testing or scaling approaches that will help decouple supply from ground infrastructure or bring production closer to the point of demand. 90.2% estimated commercial growth for 2030 with the use of technologies that overcome distance restrictions. Real virtualities. Enhancing our physical worlds, uh, world, world, sorry, and defining our sense of place, innovative organizations create new ways for people to work, consume, and socialize. 2,077% growth in the proportion of published patents that mention augmented or virtual reality in the last five years. 88% of respondents said they are investing in technologies that enable the creation of virtual environments. The new scientific method. As scientific disruption enables the creation of better, cheaper, and sustainable products and services, letting companies will become scientific companies and apply science to address the world's fundamental challenges. 85% of respondents agree that increasing scientific capacity is critical to the future competitiveness of organizations. Uh, $276 uh, additional economic growth that could be achieved through accelerated R&D testing and development by 2030. Survey data is based on responses from 2,650 senior executives from 18 countries and 20 industries. This, is, this was collected in 2021. Summing up, the advancement of AE is natural and is part of a historic revolution that we can no longer stop. Faced with that scenario, we do not need to be afraid of being replaced by machines, but rather take advantage of what we have created to improve our work. Uh, as I said before, uh, the advancement of the AIE is natural and is a part of a historic revolution and we cannot stop it. Faced with this scenario, we do not need to be afraid to be replaced by machines, but we need to take advantage of what we have created and improve our work. Thank you so much for the opportunity of sharing some knowledge with you in this important conference. Uh, thanks for the invitation. Bye-bye.